Hello everyone, welcome to one more new video. In this video, we will be talking about cell fusion experiment. Now, what is cell fusion? The cells which are in two different phases will be combined together. Then, what will be the fate of the resultant? Uh, what will be the fate of the resultant cell stage? That we are going to see in this particular experiment. So, if we talk about G1 and M phase, when the cell in the G1 phase and the cell in the M phase are mixed together, then or when they are put together in the in the same environment, what will happen? The cell which is in the G1 phase will enter into the M phase. Why it will enter into the M phase? Because in the surrounding, the MPF which is maturation or mitotic promoting factor is already active. So the G1 cell stage will enter into the M phase or mitotic phase whereas the cell which is in the M phase will remain in the M phase itself. Now let us look at the second condition in which the cell which is in the G2 stage and M stage. So G2 and M when they are combined together when they are fused together then what will happen? The cell which is in the G2 stage is expected to enter into the M phase because MPF is already active and you know the sequence of cell cycle is G1, S, G2 and M phase. So after G2 what comes? M phase comes. So G2 stage cell stage will enter into M phase and M, M phase cell will remain in the M phase itself. Now let us look at the third condition now. Here the cell which S and M phase cells are fused together then what will happen G1 is G2 M that is the sequence so G1 S G2 M okay but as MPF is active S, S cell the G2 phase, phase will be skipped and the S, S phase cell will directly enter into the M phase it will skip the G2 phase as MPF is active so S phase st stage will cells will enter into M phase M phase remain into M phase itself. Now, let us look at the another condition. S plus G1. S plus G1. When the cell G1, so all the factors which are responsible for replication as, the, as one cell is in S phase, the factors which are responsible for replication are present because one cell is in S phase. So G1 after G1 S phase comes. So the G1 the cell which is in G1 phase will enter into S phase and the cell which is in S phase will remain in the S phase itself. Because as I told the sequence is G1 S G2 M. So the cell cycle goes like that G1 S G2 M. Just remember that though. so the cell will go into the next phase except this situation because except here after S it, it is expected to go into G2 but why it is going into M because MPF MPF is already active so G2 can be skipped the cells are already replicated okay now the fourth this condition the cell which is in the G1 stage will go into the S stage and S stage will remain into the S stage next S and M when fused together what will happen the S, stage, S phase cell will go to M phase mitotic phase and M phase will remain into M phase itself and S plus G2 when they are fused together what is expected to ha happen S phase cell will go will remain in S phase whereas G2 will remain in G2 G1 S G2 M so S phase cell will remain in S phase itself and G2 will remain in G2 itself so these are the cell fusion experiments okay Thank you so much. Keep watching.